NASA, scientists have discovered that a new piece of the immune system, which could be a gold mine of potential antibiotics, has been discovered. Tests reveal that proteasome, a protein recycling structure found in every cell in our body, can produce bacteria-killing chemicals when it detects infections. The importance of this is that it offers hope amid rising resistance among microbes to drugs. Well, Professor Yivat Merbel from the Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel told us how they made this breakthrough. So as you clearly uh, defined it, the proteasome is the garbage can of the cells, if you will. And using a technology we developed a, a way back, we actually collected the ability to have dumpster diving into these garbage cans and examine w which are the pieces of little proteins that are being um, tossed away and cleaved away like in recycling bin. And the discovery was actually to ask, what do we see there? And when we looked inside, we actually saw that a lot of these little pieces are actually antimicrobial agents. They serve as natural antibiotics that the body all the time produces, but we didn't know anything about this process before. So, I mean, it seems incredible that we didn't know anything about it uh, before, because, I mean, the potential for this, we, we all know that people are becoming resistant to antibiotics. So how can this help that in particular? particular. So we believe, and we showed it very nicely in the paper, but of course these are just preliminary studies because it opens a whole field of innate immunity. But you can actually, once you identify these little pieces and you can test their effect on bacteria and show that they kill different types of bacteria, even ones that are very dangerous for um, patients, we showed in mice that you can produce them on the outside and then provide them as therapy um, to mice that were infected with either bacteremia, which is may cause sepsis and actually kill the mice and we can save them and also have reduced um, tissue damage and also in a, in a model of pneumonia which of course is a major concern um, so if you can now have a whole list and we found hundreds of thousands of such peptides of such little pieces you can now try to ask whether you can give them in different combinations and different patients to actually try to fight infectious diseases and perhaps other diseases that are um, you know we have a, with immune compromised patients, like in the case of transplantations and cancer patients that are uh, awaiting therapy and so on. So, so you must have had a bit of a eureka moment when it happened because the potential for this, obviously you're right at the beginning of the scientific uh, process, but the potential for this is enormous. Absolutely, and we had about two eureka moments in this, and this, I think, the best uh, moments that a scientist can have. Uh, I was never working on microbiology, and uh, this came out as a complete surprise. And the eureka moment was, in fact, when we looked in the proteasome in the garbage can, and we infected cells with bacteria, we actually saw that the scissors, the recycling bin, operated differently, meaning it generated a different types of the, these little pe peptides. And then we asked ourselves, why that? is and we identified that if we just isolated them and try to allow bacteria to grow in their presence they actually died okay so what's the next step uh, there are plenty uh, of next steps, both in the basic biology of this, because the proteasome, we thought we knew almost everything there is to know about it, but op obviously it opens up a completely different avenue to look in different tissues, in different disease contexts like fibrosis, autoimmunity, cancer, and so on. But from the translational perspective, and as you point, as you clearly stated in the beginning, um, you know, we have to prepare for antibiotic resistance, which is uh, becoming a, a really uh, major issue health-wise uh, worldwide. And so if we can now test these different types of pieces across different types of bacteria and understand whether we can have a therapy that will be provided to human beings um, with a natural source that is not so toxic, presumably. Again, we didn't prove it in humans th uh, yet. This will require clinical trials. But since the body is the generator of these products, it can actually be much safer and uh, have less side effects than we have with the chemical antibiotics that are being treated heavily today. And our thanks once again to Professor Yifat Merbel for that, um, well, detailing a potentially a real scientific breakthrough.